All right, welcome to Days of Dead. This is Outlander Media Network. I'm Kirby Lee Bailey. This is Daniel Roebuck from Many Things. Many Things. <laughs> we're going to start right off the gate. It starts as we're at a horror convention. We're going to start with horror right out the gate. You have done lots of Rob Zombie movies. How are you affiliated with the Rob Zombie franchise? Well, I met Rob <clears throat> in a toy store. A friend of mine said, uh, Hello, Mr. Zombie. Just like that. And I said, What did you call this guy? And he said, uh, It's Rob Zombie. So that's how I met him. I literally met him in a toy store. Um, once you meet Rob and you know, <laughs> look, I'm just, we're talking about how I met Rob Zombie. Okay. You know, you meet Rob once. He, he and I are very similar in that we're almost the same age. We love the same kind of stuff. And uh, I think, you know, he knew me as an actor, and I knew him as a rock star, and it turned out that we had a lot in common. Okay. Why don't we talk about another movie? Let's talk about The Fugitive. Great movie. Wonderful. How lucky to be in it. I was between the first two years of Matlock, and I went in for the audition. I couldn't. It could have been any five people in that movie that I got to be one of the people. Uh, was such a gift from Andy Davis. I can't even comprehend it. I love the movie. I love working with Tommy Lee Jones. I loved hanging out with Harrison Ford. Uh, all of it, 100% of it, was perfect. You just mentioned the word Matlock. That is one of my favorites. Oh. Let's talk Matlock. Well, Matlock, again, great. So Matlock, you know, I went on Matlock to do one episode <clears throat> to be a guest star. And I ended up a series regular because I had such a great moment of time with Andy Griffith. I had just done No Time for Sergeants, which is a show, you know, that made him famous. And he was, when, when I finally got Hello, Mr. Griffith out, and I said, I just did No Time for Sergeants. And he said, which part? And I said, Will, Will Stockdale. He did Will Stockdale. You know, that's a hard part. That's the role I played, and it made me famous. And this man just did it. So that was kind of my introduction to Andy. And uh, from that moment on, he worked to get me onto the show. Did y'all really do that show here in Atlanta? No, none of it. We did the whole show. The first season was at uh, MGM. The second season was second, third, fourth seasons. Fifth season was at Universal 6th, 7th, 8th, or 7th, 8th, 9th was in North Carolina. So we did a lot of seasons in the middle at Universal. One season at MGM and the rest in Wilmington. I mean, you were a very interesting private investigator. What was yeah. one of your favorite episodes? Well, I like the one where Arlene Galanka falls in love with me. I think that's kind of silly. Uh, I love them all. I what The only thing, if I look back, I think, remember how weak they made Cliff? Like, I'm on a decathlon, and the 85-year-old guy was finishing before me because uh, Leo, Leo Penn, the director, was like 85, and I was like, Leo, come, come on now. I mean, I know I'm goofy. I'm playing a goofy guy, but I'm not, you know. I mean, I can finish a decathlon. I was like 30 years old, worked out. I ran every day four miles before work. I could have run that fast. I stupid 80-year-old. Hey, I tell you, we... I was sitting there wandering around these tables over here, and I saw a movie over there that you're associated with. Oh, which one? Stream? Stream, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in Stream. That's coming out this year. Uh, many of the same uh, people from Terrifier, the hit Terrifier 2, are involved in that movie, and I'm proud to be in it. They're all friends. In fact, some of them worked on uh, my first movie that I wrote and directed, The Levy Brothers and Steve uh, De La Sala. So... Um, yeah, we're all kind of, look, we like each other and you work together when you can. So you're directing movies now. I, I write and I direct and I produce. Uh, we've got a movie coming out this year called uh, Lucky Louie that I wrote and directed with my daughter, of all things. And then another one later this year called The Hail Mary that I also uh, produced with my daughter, but uh, directed myself. What's uh, Lucky Louie about? Uh, Lucky... Lucky Oh, oh. But hold, hold. We, we can go. We can stay. These are my friends. They love River's Edge. We we can we can pause a second, maybe. You can come in. And, and, 
All right. Uh, hopefully, I'll say something interesting. <laughs> ask, ask a question about River's Edge. That's my friend's favorite movie. Uh, what was your experience with Dennis Hopper? Go ahead. Ask me that question. You have to ask it because he's not a kid. Oh! On, What's it like with Dennis Hopper? On River's Edge. It's funny you should ask that. So I did a movie <laughs> called River's Edge. You throw these questions at me, Kirby. I don't know where they're coming from. Uh, so, I, like, Dennis Hopper was like Gandalf. Imagine you're some dumb... 22 year old hick actor and then they're like and here's Dennis Hopper and he came and it was like Gandalf coming the old brilliant old man he had you know he was five years younger than I am right now he was only 54 when we shot when we shot River's Edge how old were you I was 23 but I'm 59 now I'm just saying he was a he wasn't old. I wasn't old when I was 54. I'm certainly not old now. No, we're not old at all. No. <laughs> we're all in our 50s here. No. <laughs> oh, we're dang. young bucks. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me get my composure back. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Kevin. <laughs> we were talking about Lucky Louie. Yeah, Lucky Louie, written and directed with my daughter, Grace Robot. And then the next one will be the Hail Mary, uh, which we did. To a not-for-profit, if people want to look it up. It's called a channel of peace.org. A channel of peace.org. We make faith based movies through a not for profit. Awesome. It's like giving back. It's, it's like giving back is absolutely true. First, it's like giving because the movies start with a big donation from me. So it's not even giving back, it's giving everything. <laughs> and then, uh, and the, but, but I, I like, of all. Look, I'm in anybody's movie, I'm in any kind of movie. I'm in Star Wars, I'm in all this stuff. But if it's a movie that's originated from my heart, it's going to be a movie that tells a story about redemption, fatherhood, uh, doing better, using a higher power, stories that interest me. But I'll direct any movie and be in any movie. But if I'm making them, they're my kind of movie. I mean, I, I know that I'm going to be a little prejudiced because every time I see you in a movie, I say, well, there's Cliff. There's Cliff. That's <laughs> And I'm always going to look at that every time. Well, thank you for your time. Kirby, thank Daniel, you for your I time. I appreciate it. What a nice time to be on Outlander uh, Outlander Radio. Outlander Media Network. Outlander Media. Hey, this is Daniel Roebuck, and you're listening to Outlander Media Network. Follow Daniel on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can just stand outside my house, and I'll call the police. <laughs> uh, but I am Mr. Daniel Roebuck on uh Twitter, on Facebook, and on uh, Instagram, and it, there's a blue check mark, so you know it's really me. Okay. All right. And thank you again, y'all. Peace out. Kirby Lee Bailey. <laughs>